Today we'll be doing a demonstration on AC600 on 1234YF, the new refrigerant. This machine comes with a user manual, USB cable for updating the vehicle database, two extra fuses for the power supply, two quick connect adapters, and two caps for when you disconnect the lines, you can put the caps on there. And it also comes with a dust cover for storage. When you receive the machine first, make sure these lines are tight, both here on the fittings and on the machine. We're gonna go ahead and turn the machine on. Now it's telling us that there is no refrigerant in the tank. We gotta fill the refrigerant from a new tank into the tank in the machine. So we're gonna make sure that both high and low sides are open on the tank in the machine. And then we're gonna go to tank fill, open the high side because it's the liquid and not uh, low side is always vapor. So you always wanna fill the high side, it's quicker. And you wanna fill the tank to 50 to 60% of the maximum capacity of the tank in the machine. The tank in the machine is 22 pounds. Freon we're filling is a 10 pound tank. We can only charge 10 pounds. So now it's gonna fill Take the Freon from the tank and fill the machine. Once you've charged from the tank, the screen is going to tell you to close the tank. And then it'll give you enough time to clear the lines so you can disconnect from the tank. So now we're going to disconnect from the tank. Go to settings, the password is one, 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 six times. Now, language, calibration, air purge, database, printer, unit, weight, and component test. Language, obviously it's self-explanatory. You can change whatever language you would like. Calibration gas calibration and oil load. For gas calibration, it tells you exactly, put one, one kilogram weight on the plate. And then you go ahead and went to in, press enter and it'll do a self calibration and it's calibrated. You can also purge the air if there's too much air in the system. To update the database, that's what the USB is for. So you can update the database. Printers, you can print. Uh, you can change the unit from kilograms to pounds and you can set the weight. Never ever touch this part because this tells you how much the empty tank is and how much an empty oil bottle is. Component test doesn't really apply to you guys because it's for a technician to check the valves and solenoids and everything else. You can go to auto mode and do everything automatically. The back recovery, vacuum, oil injection, and the charge. Right, today, we're gonna do everything separately. Do a manual mode and show you guys exactly step by step. Now we're gonna do a recovery from the vehicle. So now we're gonna connect to the vehicle And when you connect the lines, make sure you just give them a tug so they're properly connected and go ahead and open the fittings. After you fill the tank, make sure you fill the machine with fresh oil. So you put oil here and it's uh, PAG oil. This oil with is with dye, you can get it with or without dye. And then we're gonna go ahead and recover. Now we have recovered from the vehicle, we recovered 0.87 pounds and we can go ahead and print that and the used oil the recovered oil in from the vehicle will show you here you always want to keep an eye where that oil is 
and then where it went to. So you'll know how much oil you've recovered. So now we're gonna go ahead and vacuum. We're gonna go ahead and do a vacuum for, for five minutes. And you can always say yes to a leak test if you want to, if you wanted to do a leak test. But we, we already know this vehicle doesn't have any leaks. So we're gonna say no to the leak test. We're just gonna go ahead and vacuum. So after it finishes the vacuum, it's gonna tell you leak test started. And then if it finds a leak, it'll tell you leak test failed. Or if not, it'll run through the eight minutes or whatever time it uh, tells you it'll do the leak test for. Then after that, it'll say leak test passed. If it's a small leak, it'll take usually about five to seven minutes before it finds it. If it's a major big leak, right away, as soon as within a minute, it'll tell you leak test failed. And as you can see on the graph, it shows you exactly how big the leak is. It starts from negative one, one bar pressure up to zero bar. So if it's a big leak, the, the line will spike and leak test will take about nine minutes. Next step is injecting oil. The printer will print out how much oil and how much Freon was recovered. So we recovered 0.871 pounds of Freon and 0.7 ounces of oil. And we're gonna go ahead and inject 0.7 ounces of oil. So for the hose flush, we're gonna say no. And we're gonna go, since we can't, it goes by 0.2, so we'll have to put 0.8 ounces of oil. Now we're gonna go ahead and inject the oil. You can always say yes to the print or no. And then we're gonna go and charge. You wanna charge from high side, or you can do high low, or just low. You always wanna do both. And you wanna purge hoses after, yes. How much do we charge? So you can always find the sticker for the type of refrigerant and the amount of refrigerant a vehicle requires under the hood or on the hood here. A decal will say the type of Freon and the amount of Freon. And this vehicle says 1.125. We're gonna set the Freon with the amount of Freon. You can either do this or you can charge by database. And you got all sort assortments of the vehicles. And we're gonna go ahead and charge from both high side and the low side. And we press enter and it's gonna charge. Now it's telling us to turn the vehicle AC on. So we're gonna go max AC. Now we've turned the vehicle on, we're gonna go ahead and press OK. Now it's telling us to close the high side adapter. We're gonna go ahead and close the high side. Hit enter. Now it's purging the hoses. Now you can print what you've done, attach it to your receipt. Shows how much was recovered, and how much oil was injected, and how much uh, Freon. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect both lines. So after you've disconnected from the vehicle, make sure you do a recovery on the lines, just to clear the hoses, purge the hoses from any leftover Freon.